So you've looked at a piece, you like it at an auction, and you want to bid on it. So how can I bid on an auction? And, you know, a lot of people have already had ex experience bidding on auctions because of eBay, for one thing. Uh, but there's some details you really need to understand, in my opinion, to know how to bid and what to do. And I've been, I probably have been to a thousand plus auctions, and not only in online, but in person. So I can tell you some of the pros and cons. One of the first things you want to do is, if it's an online auction, which is where a lot of things are headed now, is you can just leave a bid. You can leave an absentee bid. I do this on a regular basis. I'll see an object. I go, okay, it's worth this, it's worth X, and I'll leave a bid. The pros and cons are, well, the pros are you are in the auction. You at least have a chance at buying it. The cons are you're probably not going to get it if you're not putting an aggressive amount on the absentee. And if you're going to put an aggressive amount on an absentee, in other words, you like the piece enough that you want to really bid high, you may want to find another option like a phone bid, which we'll talk about next. So, you know, if it's a really great thing and you're leaving an absentee bid a really high amount, there probably should be a reason. Usually it would be a time issue. You just can't get to it. You're afraid you can't get to it or you're gonna be out of town or whatever, and you can't bid, then leave an aggressive one. And if it's a good auction house, if it's an honorable auction house, which most are, they're going to just go to your lowest bid. They're not gonna take it all the way. If you leave a bid for $10,000 and it sells for 5,000, they're not gonna run you up against some fake bid uh, as long as the reserve is met. So it's a good way to do it. If you don't care so much, just leave a bid. You can also call the gallery or the auction house and leave an auction bid with them, an absentee bid. We do that on a regular basis at our auctions. So the other type of thing is a phone bid. Now, if it's just an online auction, you don't really have these options. And so you're going to have to bid live uh, with the auction, which is basically doing the same as a phone bid. But sometimes people feel more comfortable having a phone bid. If it's an expensive piece, they want to hear the person talking. They want to be able to have a communication to be able to, to do the deal. I personally feel like just bidding live on, online is fine. The only reason I might not do that is sometimes auction houses charge you if it goes through a live auctioneers or a bid square or invaluable they charge an, an additional three percent so if you want to avoid that three percent which if it's expensive you may want to you may want to deal directly with the auction uh, house or the gallery who's doing it instead of going through one of those platforms but bidding live through a platform is a very good way to do it, you know, and uh, I do that on a regular basis. If I'm really interested, sometimes I'll set up a phone bid. It, there is The best way to do a phone bid is if you can watch it on live and hear it uh, on the phone. Then the other way you can do it is you can go live, right? You could go to the auction house if, if they have those and you could watch it. I don't see an advantage of this anymore. In fact, to some extent, I, I see a disadvantage because if you're live in the auction, there's another person watching you, that may affect you know, how they bid or not bid. So to some extent, I, I think that bidding live is more theater to, to some extent now. And you'll there's some auctions that do this. A lot of the big auction houses, of course, still do it. But most of the time now, if you go to these auctions where they used to might have 500 people, they might have 10. It's really online. That's how things are going. So it's important to understand how the, the different types of bidding that you can do. And don't forget when you are going to bid, to always take in consideration that there's a buyer's premium. So, and this can be anywhere between 20 to 30%. Uh, you need to check with the auction house, read the terms of agreement, find out what the real costs are. Not to mention, often they'll charge you 3% to use credit cards. So you know, if you wanna use credit cards, that's fine, but you're paying that amount. Why throw it away? You know, just pay with a uh, wire transfer or another way that check or something like that. Most auction houses will take that. I know we do. We don't have a problem with that at all. It's important to understand how to bid and the mechanisms because auctions are here to stay.